The Mechanobiology Institute is a unique place. It was founded about five years ago with a vision of bringing together this merger between physics, engineering, biology, and chemistry. Mechanobiology is a new term for the physics of cellular interactions and is another form of quote-unquote physiology. What we are really trying to understand is at a molecular level, how does a cell know where it is in a tissue and how does it know how to behave properly in terms of the mechanical environment of that tissue. Singapore is one of the few places in the world that's willing to take that risk to take an area that's not yet mainstream in biology or in physics, but believe in the people that are setting up the institute and believe in the quality of the science that will be produced and then later in the outcome and the technologies. The vision for the institute was that it would be an environment where groups of engineers, biologists, and physicists, and chemists could interact in an interdisciplinary fashion to approach the problems of how do cells mechanically interact with their environment. This is relevant to a number of disease states such as cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease, and the issues with aging. What we we're trying to do was provide this open lab environment where the interdisciplinary interactions could occur. Labs were not in silos. An engineer could talk to a biologist. The work from C.T. Lim and Benoit Ledoux is a collaboration there between an engineer and a biophysicist. Looks at how cells move as a sheet. Linda Kenny and Jia Yan have collaborated to really understand how bacterial DNA is really repressed and, and activated. Further, my own lab has been looking at the stretching of substrates and the effects of even a 1% stretch on the growth and the behavior of systems. The work of Virgil Viasna's lab has taken the micro manipulation and fabrication to enable them to make new devices that now enable you to look at cells in different ways. My uh, main uh, research area is actually to try to understand and visualize how the microenvironment surrounding uh, cells affects the way that cell-cell interact with each other. It's the new ways of controlling the microenvironment around cells in 3D and controlling as much as possible the uh, different parameters of this microenvironment that the cell feel around them. It involves also optics because once you control the microenvironment, you also want to be able to visualize the cell-cell interactions that are changed. We managed to do super resolution imaging, scales down to a few tens of nanometers in, in resolution, but we managed to do that in 3D over the whole cell body. MBI is an excellent platform for us to interact with various scientists. There are many visiting scientists that visit our institute and we have the opportunity to speak to them directly and share our ideas and also networking with them. For cells to communicate with each other, first they will receive the extracellular signal. For myself as a visiting professor at MBI, the ability to interface again with this multidisciplinary institute that we have has enhanced my research in absolutely every aspect and to perform experiments and move in ways that we never could have individually. Here in MBI, we really are doing new exciting research. We're discovering new areas, new answers to old problems. It's not me too kind of research. We're really having a lot of fun uh, being very innovative. We have an initiative in the area of skin. We have initiatives in cancer and in regeneration stem cells. We see our, ourselves playing a major role in trying to take the understanding of the mechanics and now applying it to a number of different disease situations for the future.